Hello, this is Kate, a technical writer from WebPros International LLC. Today, I'm going to show you how to install cPanel and WHM the web hosting platform of choice on your server. This video will not cover installing cPanel and WHM on Hyperscaler platforms. So if you need help with that, read our cPanel Hyperscaler installation guides documentation. You can find a link to this document and other relevant documentation in the video description below. cPanel and WHM offers hosting providers the tools that they need to grow and manage their business. Their customers can use an easy interface to control virtually every aspect of their websites. Email tools, security features, and domain and database management are all easy. Hosting providers can even expand these features with third-party plugins and customization. Remember, if you need help with your installation, just reach out to cPanel Technical Support. cPanel offers free installation assistance. To help confirm that we're the right choice for you, we offer free 15-day trial licenses for servers with static IP addresses that we haven't already licensed before. When you install cPanel and WHM on a server that meets these requirements, we will automatically activate a 15-day trial license. If you have already confirmed that cPanel and WHM is the right choice for you, you can purchase a monthly license through the cPanel store. You'll need to choose if you want a cPanel Solo, Admin, Pro, or Premier license. cPanel Solo licenses are designed for small businesses, freelancers, or anyone who only needs one hosting account. Admin licenses are created for small to mid-level agencies and businesses application developers, and web designers only needing a few accounts. Pro licenses are optimal for mid-level businesses and large growing agencies and allow for scalability. Premier licenses are created for data centers, enterprise level businesses, and larger web hosts. Before you install cPanel and WHM with any kind of license though, you'll need to make sure that your system meets all the following requirements your hostname shouldn't match any of your server's domains. It should resolve to a valid IP address. Your hostname's valid IP address should be static and have a valid subnet and default gateway address. You'll also need a one-to-one -one NAT configuration if your server is on a NAT configured network. You're also going to need to configure your Ethernet device, disable any operating system firewalls, and disable the Network Manager service and SE Linux. It's a good idea to make sure you don't have any unnecessary software sitting on your server. In fact, we recommend installing cPanel and WHM on a freshly installed operating system. Your server should be using one of our supported operating systems. To find out more about our supported operating systems and their requirements, check out our system requirements documentation. Some important notes here. Make sure that you're installing the minimal version of your chosen operating system. Use XFS or EXT4 for your file system. Create non-root partitions or use new drives to handle backups and databases. If you want to use cPanel and WHM with Cloud Linux, convert to Cloud Linux after installing cPanel and WHM. If you are using a virtual environment, set your hostname at the host node. Depending on your exact server configuration, you may have to meet a few other requirements. You can check these out in our system requirements documentation. Once you meet all requirements, you have a few options before you start the installation process. You can create any of the following files to customize your cPanel and WHM installation. I have included links to all these options documentation pages in the video description below. Create the etcwwwacct config file to pre-configure basic setup information like contact email addresses and name servers. Create the root cPanel profile cPanel config file to customize your cPanel and WHM installation's default settings. 
create the ETCCP update config file to customize your cPanel and WHM version and update schedule. Remember, these files are optional. You can also update these files once you have installed cPanel and WHM. Now we will install cPanel and WHM. We recommend that you perform these steps in a Linux screen session. First, log into your server as the root user. Navigate to the home directory. Now run the command displayed on screen. Your download and installation process will begin. Once it finishes, you can use the link your command line interface provides to log into WHM and start running your cPanel and WHM server. You will have to accept our legal agreements and configure a few settings the first time that you log in. Once your server is set up, we recommend that you check out the contact manager interface and its settings. Configure your name servers. If you haven't already, configure Easy Apache and take care of any remote MySQL or DNS clustering that you want to use. Remember, linked mail nodes require DNS-based domain control validation. For help, read our public documentation at the address on screen or watch the rest of our WHM videos. Now you've seen how to install cPanel and WHM on your server. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.net or follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord.